Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BizLearn again. Hi and welcome to another Annex Cat Secrets tutorial. This one I'm going to show you today is very specific because I'm going to use synchronous modeling and the reason is I want to color faces in an associative manner. Well, how to do that? First of all, I want to show you the problem we have when using edit object display, which is the only available possibility of specific face coloration. So I'm going to start a command. My target is to just color the upper half of my casted part. So I have to set my filter to face, draw a rectangle, hit the middle mouse button and define a different color. But the problem with this method is if you modify your parts and that's what we do a lot, you will have to, well, repair your coloration because it is just related to specific faces. And well, I'm going to show you, I'm going to modify something in here just by deleting a curve and creating something new. And you can see here's the problem. So we have to redo the color stuff again. And this is something that really, really sucked in my past because I had to do this a lot because I have modified my parts a lot. Even when you have a part family, for example, and do not have the possibility to really color specific faces within the part family, but you would have if you use synchronous modeling. Synchronous modeling really includes a command that we can use without modifying something. Below more, it's called the group face. This one allows me to collect faces in an associative manner by using a selection rule. And here you can see tangent faces. This is the rule I'm going to use. I'm just going to select one of my faces. But the problem is select a face that maintains stable. So not especially in this case. In any case where you use selection rules and tangent faces or tangent curves, select something that maintains stable. Do not select this one. Of course, the result here is my upper half, but anyway, if you delete your edge blend or modify your edge blend, it's not going to maintain stable possibly. So I have to select something that is bigger, something that will maintain. And in this case, it's the upper face of my frame. And here's my group face. It's just a new entry. It's not a new set of faces. It's just a collection of specific faces. And as maybe some of you know already, you can right click a feature and assign a feature color. And this kind of coloration is associative. So if you modify something, you can see the tangent selection rule used within group face keeps up my coloration stable. So what I'm going to do here is just rename it to make clear that this is just used for a coloration information. And maybe you think of a part family and different colors you want to be able to decide by use of part families. You could do that if you create another face group. I'm going to do this by copy and paste just control C control V on the keyboard. And you could define a different color here and work with suppression, feature suppression within the part family table to control the specific color information. If you want to see more tutorials, subscribe my channel. I would really enjoy if you write me a message or a comment below and tell me whether you are going to use this or not. Anyway, I wish you a nice day. See you soon. Bye bye.